Yo, how's it going guys? It's your favorite family friend, the YouTuber, Lord Scrambles. And today, I was gonna start off this episode at the dungeon, but I was wandering the crimson, you know, collecting some worms and grasshoppers for fishing um, later on. But if you look, um, hold on a second. If you look where the torch is, you can see this. I'm gonna turn down my volume, and yes guys, I see the apocalypse. Man, Mega Sharks are OP. Oh, oh no. Oh no! Please don't kill the unconscious man. Here, let's. Uh, hold on, guys. I know how to solve this. Impetratable defense. Ah. Uh. Okay, guys. We're gonna talk to him. Huh? How did I get here? The last thing I remember was a portal opening up in front of me. Indeed, guys, we have found a guy from another game, Dungeon Defenders 2, but I've never actually ever played that before. My friend on Skype, Aaron, says, says it's a really great game. Watch some videos, I agree. Ooh, Defender Medals. So, let's see what um he has to say. Have you seen any Meebers around here? Meebers? Meme birds. If only though that was the actual thing. Oh, we got defender medals. For starters, take a few of these defender medals on the house. I've got some special defenses you can purchase, but only with defender medals. So yay, we can buy something. But I think we can only use this after a special event or some sort. So let's see what I'll take. I think I'll take the um, flame burst rod. Yeah, let's go flame burst. Alrighty. So yeah, we can only use this after the special event. Yeah, average speed. That's what I like to hear. Earthian mana. Oh, yep. It says cannot be used without... Earthian mana until the Internia crystal has been defeated. Or defended. Sorry. Ah! Dang it. So I think in this episode we might do a little fishing and definitely some dungeon exploring. I see a chest down there, but it's just one of those ordinary chests. But hey, there could be an egglet for making future lightning boots. And look at how fast our pickaxe is, so we should get here in no time. Yeah, unless the stone blocks us. Yeah, there's a bunch of stone, but that's fine. We're so close anyways. And hey, a slime. What's he have it, huh? Aw, oh, dang it, they're climbing claws. Hey, I'll take these though, nice. What do I want to remove? I, I don't think we need these. And let's take these and put them right there. I actually want to see if there's... Nah, nothing. If there was a sword shiner, I would have been satisfied. Oh, by the way, guys, I think I'm um, off screen in, um, before the, um, Bones to Pick episode, I think we found a sword shine, but, like, there was a fake sword, so nothing came. So, ah, uh, these enemies! Here, let me see if, um, yeah, let's make a barricade. And let's check out, guys, where we found that sword shine. I'm positive it was, like, over here or something. I believe I was over here for some. Yep, here it is, guys. Right here. And there was no sword in it. There was, yeah, there was like a fake stand of it. And, yeah. But what? A, when I looked at the mini-map, we're not far from the dungeon. So that's really, really good news. I'm going to quickly see how long this is. Oh, we've been going for four and a half minutes already. We haven't even done some dungeon exploring yet. That's kind of sad, but hey, we're super close. I think we just crossed this lake, and voila. Hey, worms to collect for fishing. That's always good news. I'm positive there was another worm. 
Oh no! Oh, okay, I thought I killed something. It was just a fish. Oh, look at these armies of zombies. Let's trap them all under this rain cloud. Oh, they just broke through. Oh, forget the things. We gotta go dungeon exploring, guys. And I can see the arena on our mini map, so that means we're right here. Here we go. Here's our dungeon. What? One health. Twenty-one damage. Twenty-one. Do you have any ideas if that meme is dead? Please leave your answers in the comment if that meme's dead, the 21 meme. It oh, the dungeon was so ready for me. They already threw a cursed skull at my face. Oh my, the dungeon is so prepared for me. I wish we had the water bolts, but I bet you if I um look closely because... I barely pay attention while watching some of my videos, so I'm gonna look back and check all the bookcases I passed and see if there was a water bolt I missed, so I'm gonna be very cautious about... I'm actually gonna look at the bookcases this episode. No b water bolt there. Aw, come on. 50 damage, yikes! Oh no, ah, chicken nuggets! Oh my... Get wrecked. Oh, I forgot to look at the bookcases because that annoying thing was out there. How many of these things are there? Oh, yeah, guys. The dungeon was double the times they're ready for us. It, yeah, see? They're throwing more annoying things at us. Whoa, was that a key? It's probably just a bone. Let me check down here. Nothing. I have a feeling we might die this episode. I have a feeling we're gonna kinda get crammed with a bunch of skeletons and then dark cast. Yep, guys, I remember how to clear areas because I was doing it the improper way. Use aqua scepters. Hey, look at this! Water bowl! Here's another area um, clear. Oh, we got adept. Get out of here, dark caster! That, that's, this weapon's kind of broken, to be honest. I know it's one of the most powerful pre-hard mode weapons, so that's good news. And it's an area clear too, watch this. It's not as efficient as the Aqua Scepter, but hey, it gets work done. Depending on how you use it, it can be better than the Aqua Scepter. Oh, I thought that was a dungeon sign, it's just a spiky ball. Oh, I hate this dungeon. And I only hate it because of the annoying enemies and how ready they are. Out of here. Ah! Okay, I thought we, um... Okay, oh, guys, we found another water bowl. And it's just normal, so it's no better than this. We need to find some keys in order to access these chests. And that's what I'm going to try and do this episode. So let's, um... Ah, oh, these dang dart traps. Yep, the dungeon was so ready for us. I've said that, like, over three times now. This reminds me of Dark Souls, because it gets pretty annoying with all the annoying enemies. Oh, my. Yep, holy, they're... They're summoning their- they're giving it their all on us. Th this has been like- I- was this like the sixth cursed skull we ran into now? This dungeon is flooded with enemies and there's no water candle nearby either. So what the heck is going on? Oh, there's a giant skeleton there. It's not using any mods, but like that one looks bigger than usual. Maybe he's got a good item on him, maybe a key even. May oh, you didn't. 
As soon as we um got to where this dark caster is, he teleported away from us. But hey, he led us um to a chest room I saw under there. Yeah, guys, there is a chest room beneath us. Thanks, dark caster. Now we should have mercy from the skeletons for one moment. How many of these are we gonna find? Yikes! There's so many of boomerangs. Come on, how about some Hermes boots? Oh, we really need some keys, though. I think we got unlucky this episode. So break all the pots, because sometimes they can carry a key. I think this is where we last traveled before the clother moved in that, um... Ah! Okay. Hey, there's a chest that uh, ha contains a key. This is a, um... Unlocked chest, so they're not like the dungeon chest. They don't contain a special loot, but they are guaranteed to carry a key each time So the game decides if you get unlucky and not finding um keys They'll sometimes just throw that at you and give you a kickstart Hey, <laughs> Dungeon slime There we go, what's in this chest? <gasps> yes, the handgun something I wanted for such a long time in this Oh my god. How many of these dark casters are gonna come? By the way, guys, leave your um, answers in the comment. What do you think is the most annoying enemy in the dungeon? Including hard mode um, enemies. Or uh, should I say post- or... Yeah, I think it's post Plantera. Oh, why do we have two keys still? Did we um, smash a pot? And it had like a key in it. Let's look. Oh my. Yeah. Oh, water, water bolt. Come on. Hurtful. I'll take it for more damage. Yeah. It's like Team Valor. They're more assaults than defense. Wait, did I say that wrong? Did I say salty? I meant assault, so like, they're all about attacking gyms and stuff! Oh, that was an amazing near miss. If Fail Army did gaming close calls, I would so put that on there. Hey, here's a better Marasmus. It kind of sounds like the um, name of the boss from um, Team Fortress 2, the um, Halloween wizard guy. What's here? What, what's this water bolt? Dang it! Slow. That's never good. Shrek! Okay, what's down here? Ah! I hate dark casters. They're so annoying. Oh, is this a water bolt? Forceful? I don't like forceful. Aw, oh, come on! Hey, at least we found a crimson chest So for when we need those vampire knives. That'll be sweet. And guys, every time I find a special chest, I always do this with torches. Hold on. I didn't ask for Sorry, I, I just hate dark casters. I always do this, so when I need to find them on my minimap, I could easily find. Anytime you can stop now, Dark Casters. Hey, more enemies to slaughter. And probably a Dark Caster that's gonna appear at any second. Yep, I saw it. I'll go over there, guys. And, yep. Holy crap! Leave me alone! I don't like you, Dark Casters. Neither does the viewers. These viewers hate you. Everybody put in the comments, hashtag darkcasters are stupid if you hate these enemies. 
But trust me, guys, once we get, like, to post-Plantera, they're going to be nowhere near as annoying as Necromancers. I cannot take Necromancers. Every time I find loot, like, amazing loot, they always appear. <gasps> Cobalt Shield! Yes! This is one of the major things I like in dungeons. What should we remove? I don't think we need this cloud in a bottle anymore. I might shockingly delete it, actually. Because what if we do find like a um like a um shiny red balloon, we might combine that into a um super accessory as I call it. Well, is there anything I need from else I need from the dungeon chest? Hold on, guys. I'm actually going to go to my internet search and see if there's still anything I need from the dungeon chest. Wow, I typed that all caps in the thing I need to appear. Okay, so let's see the dungeon loot we can get. Nothing. So I guess we can start fishing now. Which is good news. I kind of want to explore more. But yeah, let's just unlock one more chest and we're out of here. <gasps> bewitching stand, I'll take this. It, oh my, another dungeon sign. So we're going to be in the dungeon until we have consumed all of the keys. Holy crap, go away, dark casters. I have all the important things I need. You don't need to bother me anymore. I just want to unlock two more chests. Thank you very much. Ooh. I meant to that out to the mic, but I got lazy. <sighs> Those things are so annoying. It's like when Phoenix luckily beats me in Brawlhalla. And it's exposed on YouTube. Oh my. <laughs> There's so many of these enemies. There's so much. I challenge Phoenix to make a YouTube Terraria Let's Play series and just see how annoyed he gets to these. Yep, I don't even need to explain. They it just appeared. Oh, a blue moon I saw in there. There's a blue moon. I might actually use that in the Queen Bee fight. No, never mind. I won't use that in Queen Bee fight, actually. Come on. There's got to be something else to remove. Oh, <laughs> Flare God, I don't really need it anymore. Unfortunately, it really helped us. And another Aqua Scepter. It's <laughs> just even worse. It just makes matters worse. I might actually put this on top of our stadium, the bewitching table. I wish a goblin army appeared so I can have a chance to get that NPC. There we go. Yeah, I think I might start fishing now. So we have, um... We don't even have a fishing rod. Wow. It, oh, never mind. We have the flesh cutcher. That's good news. Now, where's our nearest body of water? Right there, uh, over there. Can smash some of these in the background and maybe get some worms. It, oh, butterflies. Come here. Uh, let's kill this bunny to make sure there's no interference, unfortunately. I don't want to kill a bunny! Oh, dang it. There we go! Finally! Oh my god. 
We've gotten... There's so many annoying things in this episode. Okay. I hope that mushroom over there doesn't interfere or anything. Bass. Basses are actually pretty um, useless, but they can be useful if you want to make, like... Buff items. It, oh my. He just took my bait. Ah! I think so. Come on. Oh, of course! And I was probably just about to catch a fish too when a dang slime appeared. It's like wild Pokemon appeared. Wow, I was ready to reel that in. And we got a bass. How? This, this lake sucks. That pond is dumb. It suck. It suck. I'm so done. I think that's what I'm going to call the episode, guys. I don't mean shut down the episode and, like, stop recording. I think that's what I'm going to name this video. I'm done. Because there's so many annoying things. Whoa, this this looks like a unique pond. Look at this thing. It, oh, of course that would happen. Because my luck, people. I've gotten a lot of luck today. More annoying enemies than usual. That's pretty lucky. Is this blocking, maybe? Is that like the rule to fishing? <laughs> I'm not crying, but still. I just wish I had got a little more luck. I might actually turn up my volume a bit. I don't think we heard any in-game volume. Well, I think that might be a little too loud, but that's fine. Let's try a handgun. Let's give this a shot. It has pretty good accuracy. Oh, there's bodies of waters, but I bet you they're not good because small ponds are suck. As usual. Hey, the, I know the jungle has amazing ponds though, because like they're big. See, there's already water appearing, which obviously just tells you that something big is gonna appear. There's already good pawns appearing. Oh, look at this! This is amazing! Neon Tetra, nice. I hate slimes. <laughs> Look at these annoying creeps. Everywhere I turn. Dang it, I thought we had something. Ooh, 
a double call. That's nice. But yeah, I think I'm going to call this episode. I've kind of had it. I'm not angry or anything. Just really annoyed. It's been kind of a boring episode. At least we got some good items. But yeah, other than that, the episode's been pretty crappy and filled with annoying enemies. This has been Lord Scrambles. Peace out.